All right, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are here to see what's going on inside of the horizontal hive. Me too, me too, because this is the style of hive that I really want to go to on a full-time basis. Last time I was out here, I pulled that second. See, I have three entrances. One, two, three, and I had two entrances blocked up with the towels. And so I took one of them out. Where's my focus? I took one of them out. Uh, actually, I had one open. I took a second one just to give them more space, be able to build more brood. Let's see how that's going. Well, there's fewer dead bees up here. That's good. Maybe my little escape that I put in last time worked out. The concept of the hive is nicer because when I open this up, I can just open a little bit of the hive at once. So underneath these boards is the frames. And let's see how they're going. The brood nest should be here. Maybe moving down this direction with that second open entrance. No queen on the board. They are building some wax up on there. I'm going to take three boards off. Not a magic number, just what I'm doing right now. Stacking these up here in such a way that I'm not squashing bees. Actually, I'll take five because I want to get down to this last frame. Taking this very first frame. have some honey down here so this frame is they built on the bottom of that so that's a medium frame that they built on a, a beekeeper friend of mine he actually said he actually prefers using the mediums as deeps because then the bees can build on up here which is the bottom of the frame as it hangs down and they can build those combs to anything they want so they a lot of times will use that for their drones and then uh, they'll put their honey and their brood up in the top part. So they have some nice looking brood going on here. You can see that. Both sides. Brood on both sides, some honey on both sides. The pattern is a lot nicer as far as uh, on the frame with that circular shape going around the outside. pollen, nectar, and a little bit of brood. Overall, I really like the pattern on these frames just with the, the brood and the resources around the outside. That one's got some honey on the top of it. A little bit of brood. As a beekeeper, I like these plastic frames and it seems but the bees do okay on them too. So there's a lot of resources on that one. A lot of resources. That means uh, pollen, nectar. On this side, they do have some brood. This is one that has no foundation, but it, they are filling it up, filling it up with, with nectar. 
and honey. They do have an old queen cup on the bottom of that one. I say it's old because it's, it's dark. All right, I'm gonna start moving some of these covers down. This one had some brood on it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually slide that one in here and take the next one out. Very, very heavy. They have a lot of nectar, a lot of pollen, mostly nectar. They're making honey in this one. I think this is the end of the brood nest right here. So let's get this frame up here. Put this one back in here. Take a, frame, uh, a top board off of here and slide it down. Come on girls. If I'm slow and careful, I can do this without squashing bees. There's a lot of theories about the ventilation. A lot of people believe they don't want ventilation, and I'm leaning toward that myself. But I'll be observing over time just to see how they block it, which meaning uh, putting the propolis in there and filling it up. If they don't want it, they, they fill it up, they cover it. They glue it shut. on a little too soon. Sorry bees. Alright, let's check this one out. Nice and heavy. Lots of honey. Man, that one, that one will almost be ready to harvest pretty soon. So they're starting they're starting uh, their honey supplies right here. You know what I think I want to do? I'm going to use this small board, which is just to fill in the extra dimension. And I'm going to put it where I think the end of the brood nest is. So I can compare it to next time. I'll put that, that skinny board right here on top of the last frame where I think the, the end of the brood nest is. So the brood nest is down here. That way I can use, use that as a, a, a measurement for next time. With that other entrance open, they may have a second portion of brood nest. We'll see. Yeah, so this one is all honey. And empty, okay. Uh-oh. Must have got somebody. I smell it. Yeah, that other one over there was different. This one was the sweet defense pheromone. That other one, I don't know what it was. This is all honey. Nope. There's eggs in that one. So they have eggs down here. So they had brood nest and then honey and then eggs. 
so surprising me just a little bit. Good votes for me to have a full-time camera person while doing beekeeping. There you go. That's a nice honey frame right there. No brood. So they had sort of that... I guess the queen took a little vacation down here one day. Decided to lay some eggs. Very heavy. This one feels like all honey. Yeah, that's another one of those mediums that they built on the bottom, that extra comb. So we're down in front of that second entrance right now. Curious to see if we find any more brood. So far it was just that one, that one frame kind of out in the middle. Nope, just an empty, empty comb there. Lots of empty comb there. Lots of empty dark comb. Some of that darker comb will be cycled out. See, covering up a little bit of the hive as I go. Let me turn you around so hopefully you can get a better view of the end of this. Got some nice honey and wax being built down here. So they, they have a, I, I feel like this hive is in really good shape. They have plenty of bees. Sometimes the reflection uh, or the, the glimmer of light in the bottom of these dark frames looks like eggs, but that one's empty, there's no eggs. honey on the last one so we're gonna put that honey frame there at the very end go. Look at all these bees up here. Hopefully these bees, I can get them to come down and get back into the nest. Make sure that queen's not hanging up in there. Let me use some smoke. This is where that little bee escape that I created last week is going to come in handy. I'm not going to be able to get all those bees that stay on the lid to come back down into the hive. So I'm going to have to just button it up and close it and 
Hopefully they find their way out and back into the hive entrance. I gotta go slow because there's some up in that hinge area and I want them to get out. In this video, I tried to give you a good look inside the horizontal hive as I'm learning to inspect that. It is a learning curve. There's uh, maybe adjustments to the hive that I need to make, possible, very likely adjustments to my management style of the hive. But this is part of the fun, sharing this with you, sharing in this beekeeping community online. I'm going to make mistakes. It's okay, we can learn together. Along the way, during the edit, I tried to put some text in to give you some deeper thoughts of uh, some things that were going on in my mind, uh, especially just things going on in my mind while editing this video. Let me know how you like that in the comments below. Hey, everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe your story counts because you count. Truly, I believe that. Thank you so much for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.